Hey guys, how you doing? It's Mr. Fuzzy Lego, and today I'm not bringing you three minifigures. I'm bringing you through minifigures, if you will, micro figures, I suppose. Brick build figures, who knows what they're called. Anyway, they are the three starter Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield. And to be honest, I kind of forgot this game came out. I was sitting here thinking, oh, it's November 15th. I guess that means I should probably make a video on these three because I made them a while ago. Because there's a lot of other stuff going on, and I'm glad that I was able to uh, make these three. So, the starter Pokemon. Sword Bunny, or Score Bunny, I, for I just forgot the name, Sobble, and Grookey. So yeah, I honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to be <laughs> interested in playing this game for a little while, just because I'm not really the biggest Pokemon fan as I used to be. So um, yeah, I still, I'm glad I still made these, despite me uh, kind of not really giving that much of a bloop. But anyway, that's about it. Let's go ahead and get started with these figures. Starting off these three is Score Bunny, the fire type of this game, who I think is actually kind of cool. Like... In his design, I think what was last one, Generation 7, I wasn't really pleased with that one. So this one I think looks better uh, so far to me. And I, I did play so, uh, Sun and Moon. Eh, it was alright. But anyway, I actually... <clears throat> ah, I have a bit of a weird throat. I mean, we all have weird throats. But anyway, this is pretty cool. And if I show you a comparison next to Joe uh, from Impractical Jokers, you can see the size comparison. Uh, Score Bunny and a few of the other figures are made out of these cone pieces, and then I uh, put a head on top of it. Originally, I was going to use those Technic ball things like I use for Pokeballs and stuff, but I don't have any more. I have to order uh, more of those in if I want to keep using them. So I sculpted it onto the head, like I sculpted the head just, you know, a clay ball, and all of everything else is sculpted onto as well. I gave him a little tail on the back. I don't know if that's really what his tail looks like or its tail, <laughs> but I think this is what I would imagine a bunny would have, so I just did that. I don't know if it's right or not. So hopefully it is. And then I gave it little feet and little arms, which I super glued and glazed down just so that it wouldn't pop off. And hopefully that they stay on until the end of the recording and the photography section so that it can look really sweet. And that, that would be bad if it ever broke off. And the, the face is obviously where most of the work went into, trying to get those eyes right looking. And the mouth, that's probably one of the best parts about making Pokemon to me, is making their faces look so cute and stuff. So I'm happy with that. And I did glaze over the entire thing in a uh, glaze or like a gloss so that it would protect it. But yeah, that's about it for Score Bunny, uh, besides just more painted little details and, and sculpted bits uh, on a cone, of course. Not really much to talk about, and uh, yeah, let's go on to the next one. Now, Grookey the Grass Starter is a little bit weirder in its design because I didn't just use a normal piece or not or whatever. I actually used a few bootlegs because I was just trying to get rid of these pieces. I don't want them. So I used a one by one by for the actual base of it, and then a stud, and the head is sculpted. And again, I would have used a Technic Ball if I had one. But I just didn't, and I sculpted this, and it would turn out... The stick part actually has some detail into where the actual stick, like the hole is, so that's kind of cool. <clears throat> but yeah, I did paint onto the eyes and the snout area, I think, and um, <clears throat> gave it a tail. That came off a few times. And excuse my voice, again, my throat is weird, so uh, that's an unfortunate. But he has his little arms down here that are also sculpted, and uh, I think they came up pretty nice. You can look underneath it. Yeah, I used a color, I forgot what color I used for this, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, just stained painted details, and I, I'm trying to get them back up without breaking them, because I'm scared I'm going to break them. There we go. Slowly. So yeah, uh, painted some nice things all over it. <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> uh, besides the sculpted details and painted, there's not much else to go on. So let's go on to the last Pokemon, and hopefully this time I won't completely skip it like I did Q. That was pretty bad. Last but not least is Sobble, and you can call me biased or whatever, but literally since about 2013 or 12, I have only picked water-type water type Pokemon to start with. I've never had a, uh, a different type Pokemon. I guess I'm just a water-type guy because I like them. So yeah, uh, I'm, I kind of like Sobble a lot now just because it's, he's the water-type and he's kind of cool looking. So a uh, little bit biased on this one as being my favorite. So <laughs> yeah, Sobble just uses this... Um, this piece, I use it for Squirtle's tail in Smash Brothers, but uh, it's one of these, you can tell what part this is, and I, I put some stuff in the middle there so it looked like it was uh, solid. I didn't really do too much of these. See, I kind of, th these figures were weird because I made them in like a week, and then I just kind of, like the any additional progress I wanted to make on them, I just stopped to work on other things, so. These are not exactly prototype figures, they're more or less 90% figures that are done with like, this is the only exception that I didn't really finish, but who cares, it's just the tail. And the face is painted nicely. I didn't outline where like his where that stuff is where it goes up to the, to the head because that just looks weird. So I just outlined the head and the the cheeks and stuff. And the mouth is pretty cute underneath there with his little eyes, with his little nose. Actually, this kind of looks like a face down here. It looks kind of funny. Blah, 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 you know. 
<laughs> that's about it. Uh, he's got the uh, the belly pan on there. No arms or legs like I would have given him. And uh, he's got the, his fins up there. So, I don't know if it actually if the yellow continues to the other side, it might. But I didn't do that. So, that, that's about it for this video, guys. Mike is trying to get in here. So, I'm going to end this video before Mike starts having a tantrum. Thanks so much for watching. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and you found some uh, some nice fun times with these Pokemon, and I hope you look forward to the other projects that I have uh, in the mist right now, because there's just a lot, and uh, yeah, just thanks so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time, bye.